Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Canterbury Baptist Church's Word for today. Um, I have a slightly different setting today, as you can see. Um, I'm at home with my girls. Here's Ruby. <laughs> um, we had a slight hiccup this morning and uh, we are at home. So uh, good to see you. Thank you for joining me. Hope you appreciate my, uh, my little green friend on the wall here, uh, a monster called Pants, apparently. So, and it's my sister's painting. So, yes. <laughs> well, uh, glad you could you could join us for another word for today. And today is day eight. And we have a reflection on Romans 1 verse 20, um, followed by some words shared by Ewan and Karen today. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made so that people are without excuse. Every day we will be at, we will be out either walking our dog Ollie or taking the opportunity to cycle along the seafront between Folkestone and Hythe. We never cease to marvel at the amazing beauty and order in God's creation reveals in everything from the smallest flower to the glorious golden sunsets, ever mindful of the God who created them. We usually have a break somewhere along the way to pause and reflect, just soaking in the sights and sounds around us. I'm often reminded of a quote from A.W. Tozer, an American pastor and author. More spiritual progress can be made in one short moment of speechless silence in the awesome presence of God than in years of mere study. The exposure may be brief, but the results are permanent. God of the universe, we thank you for your many good gifts, for the beauty of creation and its rich and varied fruits, for clean water and fresh air, for food and shelter, animals and plants. Forgive us for the times we have taken the earth's resources for granted and wasted what you have given us. Transform our hearts and minds so that we would learn to care and share, to touch the earth with gentleness and with love, respecting all living things. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me today and I'll be with you again tomorrow, hopefully in some more familiar um, surroundings. God bless you and keep you safe <laughs> and we'll see you again very soon. Bye. Bye.